is the best of the best. Jesus is the greatest of the great. Today I want to talk to you about the fact that Jesus is the greatest teacher of all time. Now when he began his ministry, he was a rabbi, which means teacher. That was his life, that was his job, and he was good at it. He did everything a teacher should do. His, his teaching produced a response in his students. It changed their lives. It, it, it had, he spoke with profound simplicity. People remarked that his, his, his words were so simple, so clear. Unusual insight. Just a few words, just a short story, just a few paragraphs, and he could cut right to the heart of the people who were listening to him. He used everyday connections. He talked about a sheep. He talked about a coin. He talked about a shepherd. He talked about um, a father and a son. Everyday connections, things everybody in that audience could relate to. Jesus answered the questions people have in their heart. He, he talked about things that had to do with true satisfaction, things that had to do with, with the fear of death, things that had to do with worry and, and doubt and, and depression. He dealt with the real issues of life as he taught. He used questions. He asked convicting questions. Who do you say that I am? Very convicting question. He had the ability of turning a conversation around and getting to the heart of the person through a convicting, a wise, a well-placed question. As a good teacher, he sometimes used exaggeration. If your eye offends you, pluck it out. Uh, before you look at the, the, the speck in somebody else's eye, take the plank out of your eye. He was exaggerating to make a point. And he did it in a way that was masterful. He told stories. What a great storyteller. Everybody loves stories. Nobody can resist a good story. He told incredible stories. The Good Samaritan, the Prodigal Son. 36 parables are recorded in the scripture about a banquet, about a father and, and uh, his son, about servants, about life. He told great stories. But he also did it in a way that no human really has been able to capture. His radical words were backed by miraculous deeds. He said, I, I forget, the, the man was a lame man, and he said, I forgive you of your sins. Radical words. And then he backed it by raising the guy up so the guy could walk for the first time in his life. His radical words were backed by miraculous deeds. His radical words were backed by a virtuous life. Nobody questions the virtue of Jesus. No one says he's a bad man or a liar or any of these things. He had a virtuous life. He was a good, good person. His words were backed by his life. He spoke with a divine authority. People said on many occasions, nobody speaks to us with such authority. Of course he spoke with divine authority. He was God. He had divine authority. His words produced dynamic life change. People were changed forever after hearing him teach. People, the, the whole direction of their life changed. Sinners became saints. Prostitutes became pure. The people that were, were dying were given life. In fact, his words produce life. He said it in John chapter 6. He said, it's, it's the spirit who gives life, the flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Simon Peter said, uh, Lord, to whom should we go? You are the ones that have the words of eternal life. You read his word. Do you know Jesus? Read Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Read him. Let Jesus speak to you through his word because his words produce life.